Darkseid living up to their nickname of Champion Face Puncher. <laughs> They've been knocking out champions. They knocked out Peel last year, right? Was it last year? It might have been the year before that, but something like yeah. that. Yeah, and now knocking out Virgil Collapse, and next they're up against the Ronin. Who are perpetual runner-up? That might be a problem for them. Yeah, that's going to be <laughs> their weakness. Deciding factor. All right, let's talk about the setup, because that was very close to Hydra's setup. It, that was Hydra's setup All right. from the first time they brought it with the Vengeances, mm -hmm. which is actually, for this match, better than if they had, had, they had Enyos. Why? Because Vengeance are a better ship if you want to run a screen, right? Mm -hmm. If you want to keep enemies from getting on top of your core group, then the Vengeances are better. It, so on a defensive uh, setup, you want to run Vengeances, heavy tackle, the damage doesn't matter, that's not what they're there for. But the Vengeance, you know, T2 resists, it's got the great Assault Frigate bonuses. So that's when you want to use the Vengeance. When you want to be aggressive with something or being defensive doesn't help you, mm. that's when you go with the Enyo. But you're probably your de facto way to run that is with the, the Vengeances because normally you're going to play that as a defensive setup. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's actually the second time they've knocked out a defending tournament champion with uh, one of the previous setups of uh, a tournament champion or one of the... Basically, so this, this was a Hydra setup yeah. reused again. Last time, I think they killed PL with an old PL setup. Oh, all right, all right. Oh, yeah, was that... Um, That's the old Mimitar, yeah. or Olimar Rush team. Olimar yeah. Rush team, yeah. yeah. yeah that was Did Hydra show that setup, though, before that match, like, half an hour ago? No. No, I don't think so. No, that, so they did Dark Side copy it that quickly? Did they see it? And we're like, oh, okay, really well, there let's, was some, let's do that right there was now. Some, there was some talk on the forums last when it was Hydra against Darkseid where they were saying that they didn't even try they brought a setup last minute that they hadn't really practiced that came from like 89 like circa 89 theory crafting and that's why they came with double Loki double yeah whatever Tengu, Tengu yeah so they like throw to so, Hydra in yeah. exchange for setups in the mm. losers bracket or something? I don't know I would imagine no what I'm trying to what I'm alluding to here is the fact that they might have just said, that looks really strong, put it together, I think you run it like this, and they go with it, you know? But what about, like, I mean, would they have to have the ships available? Like, well, Right, I mean, yeah. maybe uh, there's something fishy going on. Here. Maybe they they're like the practicing board. practicing against each other, and, yes, and have seen it in practice. That. I yeah. know that they've, they're teams that have talked to each other yeah, in yeah. the past, so that, it's that possible that they practiced and recognized how strong that was and just had it also. Yes. But, um, yeah, I don't know. There's always a lot going on behind the scenes that it's hard for us to figure out up here at the desk. But Maybe they just assimilate good setups from other teams. Yes. Let's, I mean, let's also like, add something to your portfolio. Like, you have good setups, there's two, three other good setups. They're like uh, one of those crabs that like, put stuff on that shell. It's, that's what Dark Side is. <laughs> that's, a, that's a really good analogy. <laughs> yeah. I don't think the crabs put them there themselves. No, yeah. Do the, they? The cra there's like a crab that like, builds its yeah. shell to like, be camouflaged and stuff, like put stuff on it. It's really? Like, yeah. Like yeah, a, home, this, like, a homemaker boss. crab, yeah, yeah. God, that's crazy. Crazy. Hermit, hermit crabs. No, no, hermit crabs just crawl into a shell. This thing like puts stuff on its shell, like sticks stuff to itself. Why do you know so much about crabs? You know and what? And dinosaurs. <laughs> let, let, let's move away from, from crabs and dinosaurs and see the stats for the next match. It is Agony Empire versus Ministry of Inappropriate Footwork. Uh, all right, so Agony have gone through Sadistica, Confederation of Pizza. They lost a PL. Beach MIF, beat Hun, beat Rogue. That's a pretty impressive streak for the last few matches. Uh, 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 Ministry of Inappropriate Footwork, Kill with Fire, Godfathers, and then you lose to Hydra. Uh, beat Sadistica, Dark to Despair, and Late Night. Eh, eh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm sad about this match in a way because Footwork has brought really cool setups and kind of come out of nowhere, so they're an exciting team. I really want yes. them to do well. But Agony is like one of those long-time tournament participant underdog sort of teams like RVB and CBA yes. that we really want to go far because they're just an awesome group of guys that have yes. been contributing a lot to E for a long time. So yeah. uh, it's too bad they have to face each other here. This is a war in my head and in my heart. I think both teams are good, like they brought good steps. I also love both teams deep down. Like I really want them to do well, but ultimately one of them has to go home and one of them will move on. Why do you love them? Uh, because Ministry of Inappropriate Footwork came into the uh, test round when I invited them. Yes. I was like, please come. And they were like, okay, we'll help you out. And then uh, Agony Empire is uh, just cool. I've flown with them a couple times. They're pretty nice guys. All right. Shall we look at what they've banned? Sure. Yes, let's do that. Agony Empire have banned the Vigilant and the Ishtar. 
the Ministry of Inappropriate Footwear, uh, footwear, footwork. Could be footwear. Uh, have banned the damnation and the dominance. Why the damnation? Because it's the, it's, I mean, that's one of those bands that's like just a very high value, mm. contributes a lot, safe ban. If they yeah. feel like armor setups are likely, they're just taking out the best option for many of them by removing it. They're not necessarily eliminating huge archetypes all at once, mm. but they're saying, mm -hmm. like, if you like armor, you're going to be just a little worse than you were before because you can't have the best command ship for it. Absolutely. I it's actually solid. like the uh, Vigilant Band. Mm -hmm. They're so scared of the Ministry of Inappropriate Footwork. Like, Vigilant Band's so Dong funny. Squad just rolling in with the <laughs> thorax holes. Yeah. Like, that's yeah. a really, really scary fleet. And they've just banned out one of the... Like, to me, the Vigilant is almost more important than, uh, like, a Demos or a thorax hole. Mm -hmm. Like, the Vigilant is what ties that set up together and makes sure stuff can't get away. But And that thorax hole setup is awesome. Yeah. Like, it's a great, great, great setup. I'm the thing I don't like about that band is... While it, that ship is really great for that, that's kind of a niche uh, setup to begin with, and then within it you can replace the Vigilant with other stuff. I mean, we've seen that done sort of with Navy Brutixes, we've seen it with uh, command ships, other cruisers work fine, like Vexers, Moas. Like, there's just a lot of options there, so I feel like that ban is sort of... It's know, absolutely wasted. I mean, you can throw a Demos in there just fine. There's a lot of ships that will the do web, The web job. bonus is really good. It yeah. helps you deal with support. Like, it's, it's, it's not a... You know, it's not a bad ship, but it's just kind of a weird, hyper-specific... It probably yeah, doesn't change I, outcomes. I, no, exactly. It doesn't change outcomes. I think I think they brought Navy Brutuses in that setup, didn't they? They brought... Yeah. There was, I think, two Brutuses and one Navy Brutux or something yeah. like that. I, I, I think that... I think that they could have done something better. I'll leave it at that since the match is ready. Fair enough. Uh, let's, let's see. So, Agony Empire, Ministry of Inappropriate Footwork. I want Ministry to win, but I think Agony is going to win. I'm going for Agony because I like Azua a lot and I think Agony's cool. I'm going for Ministry of Inappropriate Footwork. Gonna go for Agony. You got this one. 